right, so we're down at Lou Lynn Farm out in Pennsylvania. Uh, this, this company imports and repairs and resells John Deere Case, obviously Kubota, and New Holland. I'm going to take a look at that one, New Holland, down there. Um, yeah, it's a typical uh, uh, Hydem spray paint job. You can see they put that, that fancy clear coat on there and make it look shinier than what it is. Now, the tractor, for what he paid for it, is actually pretty decent. Um, I'm not 100% sure what it did, but it was in stalks. I'm pretty sure this was a plow tractor, and they plowed with it a lot. Um, we did have him put the... Uh, he put a... Well, we, Cody, had him put in a uh, Category 4... Um, draw bar on it and they drilled the holes in the proper places uh, the transmission tube there is is uh, got a little dent in it but I don't see any leaks uh, but for the most part for what he paid for it it's actually a pretty decent tractor fires up and runs and uh, it's going to be headed to North Carolina here uh, I think Sunday it goes it has to be Sunday we got to get moving you see that sun shining that's gonna mature wheat quick so I wanted to come over here and look at the uh, this uh, very wide New Holland tractor here. All right. Well, that's a pickup truck, an Amish or Mennonite pickup truck. I'd say a Mennonite. I think they're Mennonite for sure. Good place to come and get your tractors. Here's the Fent uh, 828. That'd be good on a stack wagon. I bet that thing a haul ass. But this is really interesting. And they add this stuff. That is a weight. That's casting. That's cast. That's a weight, and they use it to bolt the, uh, to widen the tractor out with. These things are crazy. I mean, this is a T8410. Um, I know there's a lot of people probably going to say, "Oh, you ought to buy that to run a baler with." Well, I'm not going to do that because when you make a corner with these tractors, they scuff the ground terrible. And I'm a hay farmer, uh, so I can't hardly do that uh, to it. But Wow, this is an amazing tractor. It's very wide, be quite stable. These belts are expensive as hell. That's another reason I won't buy a track tractor. But if you needed to do some work, like change that filter down in here, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. And if you need this pressure wash underneath there, you don't have to really worry about the, uh, you don't really have to worry about the, uh, the, the tire being in your way because it's not. Uh, that's the one thing with the John Deere tractors and even these this thing is widened out severely widened out but what a nice tractor i um i don't have a problem with the new holland t series tractors t7 t8 i think they're built quality you know you're hearing that from a john deere guy they are definitely quality built uh, i think when you get into this uh, size tractor uh, it doesn't matter whether you're running a new holland case Massey Ferguson Challenger, but that Maserati Blue is just one sexy mofo. I don't care what anybody says. I love that color. It's it's that's your normal Ford Blue, and this is your Maserati Blue. That's a seven thousand dollar paint job. If you didn't know, I went to the T7 plant in England, Basildon, and they had Midnight Blue and Maserati Blue, and that Maserati Blue just sets this tractor off, almost makes it worth. Uh, makes me want to buy one just because of that. Um, another thing that annoys me about these tractors is this this oil filter system. There's no well, there is a drain plug there. I guess if you pull the drain plug, you'd be somewhat okay. This just dribbles oil down the side of these things. Terrible, and I hate that. Um, but wow, what a big ass tractor! This is big. So even with this track system on here, you still have more room. This one's not widened out. It's probably. Uh, by the look of it, it's at least uh, 10 feet wide. It would need a wide load permit to get down the road. But you can you can definitely get your pressure washer in there. And I don't see that filter in here. They must have changed it on this one. This is a newer, larger model. The same thing. So, yeah. So if you're in the market for a track tractor, a track semi-track tractor, uh, Lou Lynn Farm has them out here in Pennsylvania. Lou Lynn Farm. You can find them online. Some of these tractors are really... Here's a T7-270. Uh, this would probably be more than enough to run a baler and a stack wagon. If it's an IVT or CVT as they call it, you could probably very easily 
Yeah, and this is definitely an English tractor. You can tell there's your your drawbar, and that drawbar seems heavy enough to run to hold up a prone baler. And there's your hook to pick up. So definitely an English tractor. Oh, there it is. Uh, Turney Group. The Turney Group. Uh, some of my English fans can probably tell me exactly where this tractor's from by that plate. So, yeah, you can let me know about that. I think that's cool. When when people tell me where the tractors actually came from and who owned it or who sold it, what what uh, what uh, area it's from. Um, but this here is probably more my uh, my would more fit my need. That's a big tractor. I'm not a I'm not a fan of fence. I mean, once you get into this size, it's pretty uh, you know they're pretty much uh, pretty much all the same damn tractor. There's a Fent Vario. There you go. Pretty Mennonite girl. We're looking for a, a cute blonde. There you go. And uh, I'm not into blondes, so Teresa doesn't have to worry about that. Blondes just don't turn me on. I like the black hair. And uh, anyway, yeah. Fent 2 or 828. I'm going to get up in here. Uh, these things fly. I mean, these things go like 40, 45 mile an hour. They are, a, yeah, they're pretty awesome. I always felt that I didn't like this because it's just not comfortable. I don't find this handle to be comfortable. Um, these dials, whatever, you know, it's all in personal preference, you know. But let's see what kind of hours is on this bad boy. 1180 hours. This thing is like new. Now well, it's a diesel exhaust fluid. I don't know what the horsepower range of this is. I'm sure somewhere someone will tell me. But Agco, your agriculture company. Yeah. Not a bad tractor, but I need speed. And John Deere only goes 30, 30, 31 mile, 32 mile an hour. And uh, to put this on a uh, baler to do the work we're going to be doing, 40 mile an hour, I could just drive these things down the eastern shore at 40, no big deal. Because you know what, if you ever push your button on your car and it will do average miles per hour, you can go on the highway and do 60 mile an hour, but then you get in a backcountry road where you're only going to be doing like 25, 30. Your average is like 40 mile an hour. So if you're just going 40 mile an hour, who cares? You're going to get there almost as fast as a truck. You got everything you need? Thanks, yeah. Yeah, it's just, this thing's pretty awesome. I mean, for cleaning, <laughs> to clean this tractor. I mean, that's the best thing about this tractor is the, the way you can actually clean the damn thing. And you get under there. I see it does have the access panels. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, you can work on it if you need to. Yeah, but where do you transport it? How do you get it down the road? I mean, could you imagine this thing going down the road and bicyclers? There's Fox Mafia. We'd take them right out with this bad boy. It would just be a little grease spot. It would be like a press, like a rolling pin on a bicycler. <laughs> Done. I bet their intestines after you ran them over with that. But that's disgusting and, you know, whatever. We'll see how black the oil is. That's one thing with these FPTs. Now they just change that oil. I have this in the case windrower. They, they dirty up the oil within seconds of starting it up. It doesn't matter. It's just like, ah, uh, you change the oil in this thing, fire it up, it's black. Black as the ace of spades. And this is newer than a 2014 because that is that it's got to be newer in 2014 15 14 14 2014 i was in england and they did not have that muffler on there or that regen or whatever the hell it is let's go rant all right all right let's get the hell out oh the joy they pulled out in front of them oh that's a it's like a pico energy there Ford Ranger. Uh, four cars involved. Oh, the joys of driving down to Philadelphia. Yeah.